Today we've got a 2019 Ram pulled in the shop and we've been checking out the YouTube comments on some of these videos and you guys have asked for a lot of the bulbs that I've got here in my left hand today and I'm going to bring you with me. We're going to test every single one of them and I'm going to show you which one is the best for your 19 Ram. Now this is what you've got in your 19 RAM from the factory. This is a halogen H11 bulb, and the way we're gonna do this testing today is we're gonna use a lux meter. We're gonna take a single headlight on a bench about 25 feet from the wall, and I'm just gonna run through these one at a time. I'll let you guys know what I'm testing as I'm testing it, and we're gonna read the lux meter in between each test. Now, lux is the best way to measure exactly how bright, or in some cases, how dim a headlight bulb is. Lumens don't quite accomplish the right task here. Lumens are raw light output, lux is usable light output measured at a certain point. So with all that being said, if you were to do a test similar to this one with a lux meter similar to ours, you should get similar results. So the first bulb we're going to be testing today is the Diodynamics SL1. And as you can see, compared to the stock halogen bulb directly below it, this is a significantly brighter than stock headlight. This came in at 1,590 lux which was 396% brighter. That's not bad at all. Let's keep going with our bulbs and see what else we can do. Next up is the Putco Nitrolux. Now this was one of the only options that we tested that was passively cooled. This doesn't have a fan-based heatsink, and because of that, it did test a little bit lower. We typically see that with passively cooled bulbs. This one came in at 1,090 lux, which is 240% brighter. Still an upgrade over stock, but if you're looking for the brightest option, let's keep going and see what more we can get out of this headlight housing. Next up, we've got the VLED's Micro Evolution Bulb. Now this one, as you can see, is a pretty tall beam pattern. It's got an odd hot spot. If you look at the halogen beam pattern, we've got a nice tight hot spot close to the top of the beam, and the VLED's bulb just doesn't quite mimic that. However, at 1010 lux, it is still brighter. Now you've probably seen this bulb on the channel quite a bit. This is the SV4 bulb. This one came in at 1920 maximum lux. This was 500% brighter over the halogen bulb that you got in this truck when you bought it. So you can see we've got a pretty clean beam pattern. We've got a really good hot spot. That is going to punch down the road quite a ways. 500% is not bad at all. That's why we're here today. But let's see what other bulbs are doing. Now this is the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 bulb. And this one came in at 2590 lux. As you can see on your screen in front of you, this thing has got an unbelievably bright hot spot. That is going to reach down the road quite a ways, and this one was 709% brighter than stock. Definitely a good option. This bulb is probably my favorite in this housing so far. The last in our testing today is the Oxbeam T1. Now this one has been mentioned in our comment section quite a bit. It's a small bulb, it fits a lot of applications, but as you can see at only 800 lux, yeah, it's brighter in stock, but that's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for the brightest option, we're looking for the best possible beam pattern, and this one just doesn't quite get us there. Now, as you can see in this particular shootout, the GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 did outperform the other bulbs. Now, you can absolutely make any decision you want when it comes to what bulbs you wanna run in your truck. This test today is just to show you some of the leading options on the market today and also some of the bulbs that we get in the comment sections. Believe me, we read the comment sections, we reply to most of them. If you guys are watching this video and you want anything else tested, please comment below. We love your input, we love making sure that we give you exactly what you're looking for. Now in all the testing that we've done on the 2019 Ram, just about every single bulb on the market today needs a PWM module like this one. If you buy a bulb from our website for the 19 Ram, we'll automatically include these because we know you need them. If you buy a set of bulbs and you don't get something like this, you're going to encounter a strobing effect with your low beam. It's the last thing you want. It's really distracting on the highway at night. Like I said, last thing you want, make sure you get one of these no matter what you buy, no matter where you get it from. Now, having said all of that about the PWM module, if you guys need some help installing this, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. You can do it with basic hand tools in your driveway at home. There's not a whole lot to it, thankfully. It's a modern vehicle, but it's pretty easy to get to. Now, if you don't need our help, please, by all means, subscribe to the channel. We've got a ton of 2019 Ram content out. We've got some of the brightest taillight upgrades you can do. We also got a cool video on the XB LED fog lights from Morimoto. Those really dress up the front of the truck. I'd love to show them to you. Now the sweet part about these trucks, like I said earlier, you don't actually have a lot of stuff to take apart on these. You don't have to pull the whole front end apart, no grill removal, no headlight removal. You can actually on the passenger side just remove this air box here and you can do that with a flat screwdriver or a 5 16 socket right on this hose clamp here. With the hose clamp loosened up, you can just push it toward the engine here. 
and then the air box itself just lifts up and out of the vehicle. Now you can clearly see your low beam dust cover. For the sake of this video and showing you guys exactly what you need to do to get your bulbs installed, I've got our headlight pulled out and on the table here. This is your low beam dust cover and all you need to do is reach into the fender area. You're going to pull the dust cover off just like this. Now you can see your factory halogen bulb. Go ahead and twist it counterclockwise. And as you can see, there's a little bit of slack here. You can pull the bulb out just a little ways. It makes disconnecting it a little bit easier. At this point, you can install whichever LED bulb you would like to in your low beam on your 2019 Ram. Now, you do need a PWM module, and I'm gonna show you guys how that fits in there. And I'm gonna use the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 bulb just as an example so you can see how everything fits with the dust cover. Down along the bottom side of the bulb here, you're gonna see quite a large opening. You could fit the PWM module down there without any trouble. So what I'll usually do when I'm doing the install on these particular headlights is I'll plug everything together outside the truck. Just like that. Now this end of the PWM module goes to your factory wiring harness. And before I install the bulb, the easiest way I've found to do this is take the PWM module, insert it, down into that lower cavity here, along with the wiring. You can do the same thing with the driver. Go ahead and install your LED bulb, click it in, and as you'll see, there's plenty of room for the dust cover to go back on. Now that's a big reason we do the testing here. There's a lot of giant LED bulbs on the market with a bigger heat sink that simply will not fit that location. As you can see, this combination works really well. Getting this thing apart and getting that headlight bulb out of there is actually no big task. And I really like working on these for that reason. It is a little bit of a reach in the fender there. It's a little bit tight, but it's totally possible and it sure beats pulling the headlight out of the truck. Now, if you need anything else for your 19 Ram, we've got a lot of videos on these things. We've had this truck for about a year now and I hear we're trading it in and getting something else, something very new. You should definitely subscribe and check that out. We've got a big build coming up and I'd love for you guys to see it. Thanks for watching.